Hey, so now let's have a look on to the discussion for the next question. That's question number six. This question hold two marks and this question has two parts, part A and B. We will be discussing them one by one. So here I have this part A, which wants us to define the terms threshold frequency and stopping potential in photoelectric effect. You have already seen the solution for the threshold frequency, which is similar to question number two that we have discussed. So if you write the solution, you need to write down the definition of these two. What is threshold frequency? That is the minimum frequency of incident radiation below which the photoelectric phenomenon does not take place. Okay, for a given metallic surface. Moving on to the definition of stopping potential. What is that? The minimum negative potential of anode terminal due to which the highest kinetic energy photoelectron will stop before reaching the anode. Therefore, the photoelectric current becomes zero. And we know this will be equal to K max. So, K max is going to be equal to E V naught where E is the charge on the electron and V naught is the stopping potential. So, as I have told you earlier also, this question is for two marks and part A of this question holds one mark. So, you are going to get half mark for writing the definition for threshold frequency and half mark you will get when you will write the correct definition of stopping potential. Let's move on to the discussion for the second part of this question that's part B which wants us to plot a graph of a photo current versus anode potential for a radiation of frequency nu and intensities I1 and I2 we are given I1 is less than I2 okay so the frequency remains the same for both the intensities but intensity is different let's see what you had to draw so this is the graph which is expected from you to draw in this graph you can see this is drawn for two intensities i1 and i2 and you can clearly see here that as the intensity is increasing the photoelectric current is also increasing photoelectric current depends on the number of emission of electrons okay so how many electrons are emitted by the metallic surface so, if you will increase the intensity as more photons are striking the surface, so there is going to be the emission of more electrons and hence the photoelectric current is going to increase. While on the other hand, if we talk about the stopping potential, it is decided by the maximum kinetic energy that the electron is having and the maximum kinetic energy will be decided by the frequency of radiation because frequency of radiation is remaining the same and hence the stopping potential is going to be the same. So, this was the graph which was expected from you to draw. So, if you have drawn it right, you are going to get one mark for this part also and this is how you are going to score two marks for this particular question. I hope the marking scheme of this question is also very clear to you. Now, let us move on to the discussion for the next question. 